The Amex green card has got to be the least talked about Amex credit card of all time, in my opinion. So today I wanted to go over the cashback rewards, sign up bonus and benefits that come attached to this leafy money looking credit card, as well as similar alternatives to help you guys determine whether this credit card is a good fit for you or not. So to begin with, this credit card is currently offering a sign-up bonus of 40,000 membership reward points after you spend $2,000 on purchases within the first six months of opening your account. Now, at the time of recording this video, I was offered 60,000 points instead of 40,000, but I decided to use 40K in the video since that's the most common offer at the moment. This means your sign up bonus offer may range from 40 to 60 K when you go to apply for the card, which is a value of 400 to $600, depending on your offer and how you choose to redeem those points. In addition to that awesome welcome bonus, you'll earn rewards such as three X at restaurants, including takeout and deliveries, three X on transit, including taxis, rideshare, parking, tolls, trains, buses, etc. Three X on travel, including airfare, hotels, cruises, tours, car rentals, Airbnb, and more. And lastly, one X on all other purchases. Now, some exclusions apply on the 3X categories, for instance, on restaurants located within another establishment, such as hotel restaurants, casinos, event venues, bars, nightclubs, cafeterias, and convenience stores may not earn you additional points according to their website, unless the place is quoted as a restaurant. But what's cool is that you'll still be able to earn 3X back on hotel restaurant purchases since those purchases will be recognized as hotel purchases, which also falls under the travel category, which earns you 3X back on this credit card anyways. Other exclusions apply to car rentals. For example, you'll only earn additional points when you purchase from selected major car rental companies such as Alamo, Enterprise, Hertz, and others. So this is just something to keep in mind before applying for this credit card. Now the rewards continue because you'll also get extra benefits and credits such as a $100 clear credit per year and statement credits when you pay for your clear membership with your Amex green card. This allows you to get through security faster at select airports and stadiums nation wide. In addition to that, you'll receive another $100 per year when you use your Amex green card to purchase lounge access through Lounge Buddy at any of the lounges in the Lounge Buddy network. Plus, this card comes packed with a variety of perks and benefits like no foreign transaction fees, trip delay insurance, car rental loss and damage insurance, baggage insurance plan, global assist hotline, purchase protection, extended warranty, and many other benefits. Lastly, you'll benefit from American Express experiences and offers, plus additional services like Amex Send and Split, online account management, year and summary of your account, flexible payment plans, and so much more. Now, being that this card offers extra benefits that other cards don't, it only makes sense for it to have an annual fee. And for the Amex green card, that fee is $150. So let's dive into how much value the card offers and how you can completely offset that fee and have the card pay for itself while profiting. So let's go over the total value you can get from this card on just your first year. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this card is currently offering a sign up bonus of 40,000 membership reward points after you spend $2,000 on purchases within the first six months of opening your account. That means that if you spend $334 per month, you'll hit that $2,000 spending limit smoothly and get yourself a free $400. On top of that, you'll earn 3X at restaurants, including takeout and deliveries. Now, according to the article on the screen, Americans spend an average of $2,375 per year on dining and takeout. So let's go ahead and use that number and round it up to $2,400 for easy math, although I'm sure some people spend more or less than that. Anyways, $2,400 per year spent on restaurants, takeout and deliveries times 3x gives you a value of $72 per year on this category based on this example. You'll also earn 3x on transit. So for this one, I'll use my yearly toll spending as an example, since tolls is also included in the transit category. So on tolls, I spend over $2,000 yearly at a 3x rate. That's a value of $60 back yearly on just transit. In addition to that, you can earn 3x on travel, including airfare, hotels, cruises, tours, car rentals, and more. Now, according to the article on the screen, baby boomers spend about $6,600 on vacations per year on average. So let's go ahead and use that number for our example. So $6,600 per year spent 
on travel times 3x gives you a value of $198 per year on travel, which is a lot of money peeps. Lastly, you'll get 1x back on all other purchases. So assuming that you spend around $20,000 per year and you use your credit card to pay half of those purchases, that would be $10,000. So 10K times 1x gives you a value of $100 per year on all other purchases. Now, when you add everything up, you'll get $830 minus the annual fee. We'll leave you with a total value of $730 on your first year with this credit card. And that's almost a return of 5x the annual fee cost, which is insane. Having said that, please keep in mind that the total value that you get from this credit card will vary depending on your own spending habits. And the numbers that I use were just for the sake of the examples. Now, moving forward, let's go ahead and talk about how much the Amex reward points are worth and how to redeem those points. So you're going to have a variety of ways to redeem your points and the way you choose to redeem them will determine how much the points are worth. Your options are redeeming towards online checkout, gift cards, a statement credit, booking or upgrading travel, transferring points and shopping. You can see the value per redemption on the screen. So for example, if you were to redeem your 40K welcome bonus points towards a statement credit, in other words, cash back, your points would be worth 0.6 cents. So 40,000 points in this case would be the same as $240. Now, if instead you were to transfer your points to transfer partners, those same 40,000 points would be worth two cents per point which means those 40,000 points could potentially be redeemed for an $800 value, which is $560 more. So again, the way you choose to redeem your points will ultimately determine how much your points end up being worth. So I'll be leaving a link down in the description for you guys to see all the different redemption options and their point value. Now the question is, should you get the Amex green card? Well, honestly, that all depends on your spending habits. This is something I tell everyone that has ever asked me whether they should get a specific credit card or or not. The reason I say this is because each credit card comes with different reward categories and based on your own spending habits, you can immediately determine whether a credit card is a good fit for you or not. In the case of the Amex green card, I believe it could be a great choice for those who frequently spend in the three X top earning reward categories, which are restaurants, transit and travel. And if you're okay with redeeming your points towards travel, simply because you'd be able to earn the most back through this redemption option and earning the most back is important because this credit card has an annual fee. So you need to make sure you're able to use it enough to offset that annual fee and profit. If not, the card will be useless to have. So at the end of the day, you'll need to figure out in what areas you you spend the most money in, and that'll give you an idea of whether this credit card is a good fit for you or not. Lastly, keep in mind that this card is not a credit card. It's a charge card with no pre-set spending limit. So you won't be able to carry a balance. Instead, you'll be required to pay your balance in full at the end of each month. Now, in my opinion, I believe this card can be a great card to have and it's well worth the annual fee if you can 100% take advantage of its higher reward rates. But overall, I think its annual fee compared to its rewards may be a bit too high for most spenders. So for those who don't wanna deal with that $150 annual fee, you can look into the Amex Blue Cash Preferred card, which offers better rewards, in my opinion, at a much cheaper annual fee of only $95. I have a full review of this credit card on my channel, which I'll be leaving a link to down in the description for those interested in learning more about this credit card. But for a quick overview, this card currently offers three to 350 sign up bonus, zero intro annual fee for the first year, plus cashback rewards such as 6% on groceries and streaming services, 3% on gas and transit, as well as 1% on all other purchases. So there you have the full review of the Amex green card, plus an alternative that I'm a huge fan of for those who rather pay less of an annual fee and earn way more money on the money that they're already spending. Anyways, peeps, comment down below and let me know how you feel about the Amex green card. If you have it, like it, think it's worth the annual fee, or if you think the blue cash preferred card is a better and cheaper option. Having said that, that's gonna be the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hug the like button, subscribe, turn on those post notifications, that way you don't miss out on any future uploads, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.